These four recipes help me get through college while eating healthy and on a budget. These are meals that are very easy and quick to make and you don't have to be like a Michelin star chef to make them. Make sure to watch and learn all of these recipes because I think you'll need them. Alright, number one is this quick breakfast sandwich. This thing is so good and it only takes one pan and like five minutes to make it. So you're gonna take about three eggs, crack them, whisk them, and just dump them there in a low heat pan. You wanna stir the eggs around and mix them in the pan until they start to set. And when they start to set, you can add two slices of your bread of choice. Just lay them on the eggs like this. And when the eggs are cooked kinda halfway through, put your chef's hat on because you're gonna have to flip this. It's actually not that hard, I promise. See? Wasn't that hard? Season it with salt, pepper, and paprika. And now add your favorite fillings. I added some turkey slices, some onions, some spinach. You can sauce it up, I added ketchup. And optionally, but highly recommended, is to add some grated cheese that melts nicely. Now you're gonna fold it up like this and make sure to toast both sides. Grab a plate and put the sandwich on the plate. Cut it open for a nice cross section. And uh, congratulations, you just cooked something. Your mom would be proud, cause I know mine is. This thing is cheesy, savory, and super convenient. It's like a compact, portable breakfast. But now, if you want something more filling, I have the perfect thing for you. This is something I eat almost on a daily basis to the point that people make fun of me for it. I don't know what to call it, to be honest. I'll just show you. We're starting with a hot pan and some olive oil and some onions. Oh, and then bell peppers. Uh, yeah, just mix all that up until they get to know each other. You know, saute until they get soft. In the meantime, I chopped up an entire eggplant like this. We're looking for small uh, cube pieces of eggplant. If you manage not to die, now it's time to add your eggplant in the pot. Stir that around, add some water, and then cover. And just uh, let it cook for a while until it gets soft. Halfway through the cooking process, you're gonna open a can of chickpeas and add the entire thing in there. And then you're gonna continue cooking some more before adding some canned tomato sauce. Now I like to get the cans with whole tomatoes inside so I can squeeze them out like this. But if you're not weird, you don't have to do that. Now we're gonna add two cloves of fresh garlic. Why not? We're not kissing anyone. Now you can optionally soft boil an egg by boiling it for exactly seven minutes and immediately moving it into ice water. And that's it, you have soft boiled eggs. Now we will freely scoop that weird stew over some leftover rice. Top it with your egg and cut it open like this. And not only do you have food right now, you also have an Instagram picture. This thing is very, very nutritious and pretty low in calories. But when you have it, you feel like you're eating out, trust me. There's a reason I eat this almost every day. Let's move on to something a bit simpler, like this cheesy chicken quesadilla. For this, we're gonna get some chicken breast and to cook it, we're gonna need to butterfly it. Run your knife through the chicken until you reach the middle and then open it up like a book. Remember books? Now you're gonna season the chicken however you like. I added salt, pepper, paprika and garlic powder on both sides. And then we're just gonna cook it on medium high heat. So make sure to sear it real good and and then when you flip it, you're gonna top it off with a lid so we make sure everything cooks inside properly. Now when it's done, remove it from the pan and leave all the juices there and keep the pan hot. We're gonna cut our chicken into thin strips like this. And after we've done that, it's time to assemble our quesadilla. So take a large tortilla, add some grated cheese, spread out your chicken and add your toppings of choice. I only added peppers this time. Add some ketchup, some more cheese and then a second tortilla. And now all you have to do is toast this in the same pan with those chicken juices on both sides until it gets golden crispy brown like this. Take it out and uh, I like to cut it like a pizza and just enjoy it with your favorite dip. Now this right here is my girlfriend's second favorite snack. I make her one of these after a long day of school and guys it's like an instant mood booster. Alright, let's finish off with dessert. Because I know sometimes you'll crave something sweet, I always do. Don't worry, I got you. We're making a healthy protein lava cake here. And it's all gonna happen in this ramekin right here. No need for anything else. Start with some oat flour. If you cannot find oat flour, all you have to do is blend up some oats. Add cocoa powder, an optional scoop of protein powder, salt and baking powder. Now we're gonna mix all that up until well incorporated and it's time to add our wet ingredients. And for the wet ingredients, we only need some applesauce and then just a bit of almond milk to get the mixture to the proper consistency. When that's done, take some dark chocolate bits and stick them in the middle of your lava cake. Now, you can microwave this for 2 minutes, but I personally prefer baking it at 200 for 15 minutes or so. When it comes out, let it cool for just a bit and then dig in. Now, I love dark chocolate and this really is a proper lava cake experience, uh, even though it's got like half the calories. 
So there you go guys, 4 meals that will get you through college. I know it takes a bit of effort to start cooking, but as you can see it's not that difficult to cook some decent meals. Especially if you're on a budget, cooking at home is the solution. And remember, if I could do it, you can definitely do it too. Yo, what's up? It's me. I forgot to film an outro. Really, thank you for watching. And if you want more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like this video. Right here, I have two other videos that you can watch right now. Take care of yourselves and uh, go make some uh, student food.